Hey guys, welcome back to another live stream. Uh, we're starting a new game today. It's a lead, nice and new. A very old game, isn't it? Bear with. Yeah. There we go. I saw it. <laughs> I didn't copy over um, the audio. But yeah. All I was saying is just, it's a new game for the channel. Um, but yeah. Old game, but... New for the channel, yeah, that's all we got. Yeah, I just didn't copy over the microphone. I was looking at the um, volume mixer, and I was like, wait a minute, something's missing here. <laughs> I was like, wait, <laughs> there's no volume. But yeah, hopefully you do go right, Blur. Um, yeah, um, I have tried to run it to see if it runs smoothly. It seems to be okay. Um, <laughs> now I'm freaking it, you up. Well, <laughs> I'm hoping the camera holds up, we will see. The camera's a bit of a mess, like, recently. I think my internet has been dodgy. Uh, but yeah, hopefully the stream keeps up. Um, I am going to start a new game. I have tried to run it. Seems okay. We'll see. There we go. Okay, this bit. <laughs> this was where I was like, this took me like a good five minutes trying to write my name, which is embarrassing. It's because it's like you have to do it all in one stroke. I'll do Locust. I think Locust was easier because I did it all in caps lock. Fucking nightmare. That, that was just perfect. <laughs> That's fine then. Well, that was actually way easier than I thought. Okay. My dear friend Jake. The things we saw oh. that day in the village became a secret we would have to keep from everyone for the rest of our lives. Because, you see... Oh, oh my god, the quality on that is shocking. <laughs> I just let it run in the background last time. Oops. <laughs> huh? I don't understand, Professor. Oh, it's voice acting. Why are we going to help solve an inheritance dispute? Okay. Look, my boy. Do you really think I would take on such an ordinary request as that? Oh no, this is an altogether unique and exciting situation, and it has piqued my intellectual curiosity. Intellectual curiosity. Uh, I always have one school entrance exam, um, the second one I ask him is... I mean, you can get it over and done with, but I mean, it's not fun, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> There's that. I suppose it would be best to explain the case before we arrive at our destination. Can't Two that months ago, Baron Augustus Reinhold passed away. Baron Augustus Reinhold. I'm pretty sure. The thing is, I remember playing this game, but not enough about it to the point where I was like, because you know Dangan One, but I remember a lot of it. A lot of the spoilers. With Professor Layton, because literally, I was six when it came out. I barely remember any of it. So I think it was safe enough to play on stream. And also the new one's coming out in 2025. So it's like kind of like, if I play them all, by 2025, it should be fine. I'm pretty sure at some point I can speak, and I think it's like when we're doing the puzzles and stuff. I don't think there's voice acting. I think. Shortly after his death, his will was disclosed. The contents of it were fascinating, to say the least. Okay. The Reinhold family treasure, the golden apple, is hidden somewhere within this village. To whomever Thanks. successfully locates this treasure, I offer the whole of my estate. 
We're gonna get rich. <laughs> Naturally. Steal the whole building. The reading of the will immediately set out in search of the golden apple. So basically, everyone's out for this guy's money. Is what it seems like. But in the end, everybody came back empty-handed. It turns out that no one had even heard of such a treasure existing until it's mentioned in the will. Mm. Wow, that's some puzzle, all right. Wow. <laughs> Quite. Augustus Reinhold staked his entire fortune just to create one more puzzle before his death. He's just a silly, what goofy a man. Perplexing individual. I wish I could have met him while he was still alive. It certainly sounds like you two would have gotten along, Professor. By the way, just what is this golden apple, anyhow? Um, you make them in Minecraft. Um, eight gold bars and then one apple, obviously. Idiot. Some speculate it's a rare antique, while others say it's. So we just don't know what the actual golden yeah, apple its is. Identity remains elusive. Yes, 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 yes. But look, I can't shake the feeling that this matter is linked to some larger mystery, something huge. Huh. Ha! Ha! Famous intuition acting up again, Professor. They're all very British, so I don't know what to do with the voices. <laughs> hmm. Well, our first step is getting to town. This is all so exciting. I hope Saint Mister is ready for the famous archaeologist Saint and Mister. puzzle solving detective Herschel Layton. Okay, so we're Herschel Layton. I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Luke, you know as well as I do that I am no detective. Okay. Augustus Reinhold's wife, Lady Dahlia, has asked me to investigate the situation. Oh no, her name's Dahlia. Like, like the Phoenix Wright character. She's she's gonna be the bad guy, obviously. If if she actually ends up being the bad guy, I'm gonna be annoyed. <laughs> that the all good Dahlia. Never trust the good Dahlia. It seems she came across my name by chance when reading an article about me in the papers. Yeah. And you immediately decided to take her up on a request, huh? Huh? Oh, well, look, a true gentleman never refuses the request of a beautiful lady. <laughs> If you say so, Professor. We he just wanted to get with this woman. Now. Look at the map in the envelope and help me with directions. You got it. How old is Luke? He was like a little child. Oh. What in the? What's this? What in the? <laughs> Lady <laughs> Very Dallas Mickey Mouse. Given us a test. We'll need to decipher this map in order to find the village. Do you imagine if we? <laughs> We never work out how the map works, so we just we lose. We go home. We just give up. She wants to see if we're capable of cracking the mystery surrounding the Reinhold fortune. Okay. Care to give it a go, Luke? Sure. I will do my best. A puzzle like this should be a snap for the apprentice of the great Professor Layton. Layton. Very well then, Luke. I'll leave this one to you. Think of it as a warm-up for things to come. Yes. Okay, where is the town? Yes. My village is on a road that leads to no other towns. I look forward to seeing you there. Okay. Okay, draw a circle around the, um, the town one stroke. Once you've circled your selection, tap some up. Okay. There's one that leads to no roads. Okay. Are they not all connected? Um... Oh, wait, never mind. Wait, no, these two connect. Okay, I'm assuming it's this one. There we go. Well, here's my guess. There we go. That is fine. Legends apprentice, <laughs> <Nailed it. laughs> no, that one wasn't too hard, actually. I was gonna say, I ran this a few weeks ago and I genuinely already forgot which town it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, that's correct. There's only um that only town that isn't connected by roads to the town is the one in the upper left area of the map. It looks like you're ready to start puzzles all them. I don't think I need to read that every time. We will see. I think with some of them I won't have to. Nice Luke. Right you are. We should see it on the horizon any moment now. Huh? Professor, do you mean to say you already figured out the town's location? Did we? I'm assuming we did. Oh, I'm afraid yeah. I couldn't help myself. A basic puzzle like that is easy enough to solve with a glance. Okay, so Professor Layton is just 
That guy. <laughs> He's just bad, it seems. Okay. We've arrived. Nice. Okay, we are here. You know, it doesn't have the same effect when the screen split on stream. But it looks cool together. That was it that I've, I mean, this bit I remember, but like, even like the dialogue and all, like the actual plot of it I've forgotten and I had ran it like two or three weeks ago. <laughs> Interesting. It appears that the drawbridge in the, um, is the entrance to the village. Here we go, boy. And we're stuck on the outside. What should we do, Professor? Oh, look over there. There's a man standing on the other side of the river. Maybe he can help us. Okay. Um, that, okay, yeah, on stream that looks fine. We will go with that. Tell the area to investigate. Okay, so from what I remember, you can tap around for, like, hints and stuff, but I don't actually know if that's valid yet. Uh, but we can click around, so this is fine. We could swim, we could swim across, but it is terribly cold. We will talk to the man. Good day, sir. We'd very much like to gain access to the village. Could you please drop the bridge for us? I look like the sword dropping the bridge of a bunch of fancy looking outsiders. Got a lot of nerve. Okay, Franco. We received a letter of invitation from Lady Dahlia. I don't suppose that changes things, does it? From Lady Dahlia? Well then, I'd sure um sure I'd have to lower the bridge for you, Mr. Fancy Pants. The engine is bust, and I can only move the blasted bridge with a hand crank. <laughs> <laughs> There's all of these ethereal slots I could pull up crank in, but I got no clue to which one to use. <laughs> so smart guy. You got any idea which one's the right one? Yeah, another puzzle great. Number two, the cranks and slot. There's no way to lower the bridge and get across what I'm saying the crank. Get the crank slot. Choose the slot that fits the crank shown. Um, are they not all the same? <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, there's this triangle. Okay. And it's on a flat bit, so it can't be number two because there's a flat bit here with a triangle. So it can't be that one. Um. Oh, it's number one, because, okay, right. So it, num the triangle here is on a flat bit, so it can't be this one because this one's on a point. And there's a little point between the two squares, and there's no point there, it's just here. This is number one. I think. Luke, here's my answer. Let's go. Has an answer. <laughs> okay, nice job, I dropped the bridge. <laughs> yep, there we go. MPs are gonna be such a pain to voice act. I'll do it. Hold on a sec. I'll let it down. I'm gonna say it again, I just don't feel right about laying outsiders into St. Mister. Mi was it Mister? It wasn't Mystery. Um, if you're Lady Dahlia's guess, I bet I guess it better. At least give him my regard, you hear? Nice. We got puzzle index. Oh, that's him grunting. Oh, <laughs> that's part of the bridge. <laughs> he keeps like grunting. Yes, we finally arrived at the St. Mister. I'm so excited. I wonder what mysteries await us here. Ha ha ha. Well, Luke, we'll soon find out. Uh, we'll find out soon enough. Just be careful not to let your excitement cloud your ability to analyze your surroundings. There we go. I say, Luke, this is the perfect time to explain how to move during our investigation. Uh, give the shoe shape icon the lower right portion of the touch, um, of the touch screen a tap. You, a set of arrows will appear on screen. Tap one to head in that direction. So remember, when you want to move, just tap the shoe. Go on, give it a try. Can we talk to these people beforehand? There we go. Oh, hello. Pleasure to meet you. Welcome to Saint Mister. Where are our puzzle? Uh, where are our local export is puzzles? Oh, before I forget. You should know that every time you solve a puzzle, you earn a set of, of pickerats. The more pickerats a puzzle is worth, the tougher the puzzle will be. 
You see, lovely things happen when you gather enough peg rats. Imagine that, her reward for seven pols. So I'm assuming we have to get a certain amount of number. I just can't remember what pig rats are used for. Practice. Um, try this little riddle um, that you have reminded me of. Think good and hard before you answer. Oh, wait. Oh my god, I have to do my duel and go. <laughs> okay. Um, these four top hats are all the same height, but the length of each brim is different. Okay. In other words, the hats are equally tall, but vary in width. One of these four has. Wait. One of these four hats has the brim and height of the area at the same length. Which height is it? <laughs> um, okay. Do I... Okay, wait, so it's just... Okay. The brim is just literally the flat bit. Okay, equally tall. Okay. What? How am I supposed to work that out? Do I just... Can I just use my fingers? Wait. I'd get a ruler out, but I'm not gonna do that. No. A seems right. I'm gonna go with A. I just literally put my fingers like, along them and measured them out. Luke, here's my answer. There you go. <laughs> That's fine. Um, okay, that's fine. This is a very optical illusion. An optical illusion is a vision. Oh yeah, sure. Okay. Um, I was gonna say I I just used my fingers. <laughs> Granted, I mean B. Now, B, I think all, I thought all of them were bigger than much. Me being an idiot. Hey, bravo. I think I've got the hang of this. Um, I think you've got the hang of this. If you try your options one by one, you'll eventually find the answer. However, you'll also encounter a lot of puzzles that can't be solved by simply trying all answers. If you answer incorrectly, the pick rates you earn from a puzzle decrease. Tough stuff, hmm? It goes to show how important thing, um, it is to think for yourself and find the answers on your own. Well then, best of luck to you. I'll be rooting for you, the, you two. For you two. There we go. Okay, and then we'll talk to that barrel's moving. Okay, we've got another puzzle here. There. Stash it. Oh, I thought that was a hat. That's his hair. <laughs> what, uh, what a dandy set of fellows you two are. You must be new to St. Misty, eh? The name's Stash... Stash's Scarf... Stash's Scarf, <laughs> And I've got some advice for you. Go tap the barrel back there with your stylus. Here we go. Don't ask questions, just do it. And then this is the hint coins. No, no. See, I remember some things. <laughs> yeah, felt good, didn't it? On these parts, that's what we call a hint coin. When you find yourself up against a doozy of a puzzle, you want a hint? Trust me on this one, fellow. And it's just those t wait. And it's just those times when you'll want to use a hint coin to pitch the hint. But I mean, you think puzzles would be a breeze now, eh? Think again. There are a limited number of hints of the coins in this world. So don't go wasting coins on anyone, video. If you do, when it comes to a real stumper, you'll be sorry. Real sorry. Mind you, hint coins don't always, um, won't always be stuffed in barrels. Check any object that seems suspicious. Okay, this is why I remember about clicking everywhere. Got that all? I got all that? Good. Be seeing you around. So you, you had no... Okay, that's fine. Stop clicking around for it. The problem is, I'm clicking too fast to read this. I wonder if that in gets many um, guests out here in the country. Oh, there's another one. There we go. I'm pretty sure there's only three everywhere, but I'm going to click around anyway. I'm pretty sure. See, the thing is, vague memories of this game come back to me. Um, funnily enough, like, not the plot, <laughs> just the game mechanics. <laughs> there's something very curious about that tower. End of it. Okay. It's important to think about things for yourself. Keep at it. Okay, um, so we walk with that. I've been thinking, Professor. Shall we be keeping a record of our investigation? You brought up a very good point, Luke. Let me let me explain how to go about some new game. We already saved it the first time um, that I tried to run it, but, you know, this is fine. We'll do it anyway. First, tap your stylus on the trunk in the upper right corner of the touch screen. Uh, this trunk contains all manners of information that you can access by tapping the icons. Touch screen mark save, um, save, uh, touch the icon marked save to save your game. There we go. Uh, tap the journal to read over notes about our adventures in Super Stair. Next we have the puzzle index icon. Tap it to view all the puzzles you've encountered. 
Pu puzzles you have a uh, check next to- oh wait, puzzles you've solved have a check next to them. Puzzles you've seen but haven't solved are blank. You can try any puzzles you've solved from this screen. If you try puzzles you haven't solved yet, you must return to the actual site of the puzzle. Don't be afraid to use the items in the Troy Tower Point investigation. It should be second nature soon enough. Enough explanation for now. Um, let's make our way to, um, to Rainhold Manor. Um, an arrow mark. Um, an arrow marks our path on the map. So we, um, all we need is the to head in the correct direction. Jeez, I feel the tide is coming on, and we've been here for twenty minutes. <laughs> this is fun. Lead the way, Professor. Yeah. Chapter one. Rainhold Manor awaits. Make your way to Rainhold Manor on the east side of town. Okay. Save your progress, yes. So I'm just gonna overwrite the one that I did at the drawbridge. There we go. So all we did was the map one. <laughs> okay, have a rain on my I'm Oh. I was gonna click around for uh, coins, but here we are. <laughs> um that clock tower is rather worse for wear. Speaking of clocks, I've got a puzzle just for you. Admittedly, it concerns more of a modern type of clock, but never mind the minor detail. Oh. Digital digits. It's worth 50. <laughs> Shit, okay. <laughs> okay. Imagine a digital clock, like the one shown below. How many times will the clock display three or more of the same number in a row? Wait. Okay. How many times will a clock display three or more of the same number in a row over the course of one day? In case you're wondering, the clock is, um, the puzzle displays the time of a 12 hour scale, not military time. Oh wait, we can draw, that's fine. Um Okay. We should have a notepad. If I draw on this bit, I can't no. This is just really small actually. Um, okay, so it's like it'd be one one one. Then you could also do one 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 zero. You could also do one 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 one. That's free. <laughs> um, I guess zero, zero, zero counts as well. That's four. Oh my, <laughs> the note take is not it. <laughs> okay, so that's okay. It's three, which is that. You can do two. Oh no, you can't do two. Shit. Wait. <laughs> okay, so all of these types. No, wait, no, I'm gonna have to clear that. We've got zero, 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 zero. That counts, right? Hmm. And then you've got them same ones that I just did. One, one, one. One. No. One, 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 zero. One, 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 one. All of them count, that's fine. So that's four there. The two, see, the difference is with two, it would go O, no one, oh, god damn it, O, two, <laughs> this is such bad note taking, two, two, but you can't do two, 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 you can't do that with any of the other ones because, um, in case you're wondering, the clock in this puzzle displays time on a 12 hour scale, yes, so you can't do like two, two, you can't do this, essentially, with two. Then it's O three, three three, O four, four four, O five, five five. But then you can't do six. Right? Because. Oh. <laughs> Because what I was thinking is you could technically put a 1 in front of that and then it'd be fine. But it says it's on a 12 hour scale. That won't work. Uh, how would that- wait, how does that clock work if it's 12 hours? Wait, how does a digital clock on 12 hours work? When you get to 12, it just goes to 0, right? Oh. <laughs> okay. Wait, okay, this is gonna be really dumb. Let me let me Google 12 hours scale. <laughs> because 
Right, I mean, you can't, but where does the 12 come in? <laughs> like, because it goes 0, 0, 0, 0, but then when you get to 11.59, does it go to 0, 0, 0, 0, or does it go to 12? I'm going to get fucked here. Okay, I'm, my answer's 8. So. I think I've got it! I think I've got it! Oh, never mind. <laughs> Oops. Sure Get another shot. I'm sure you have forgotten a few possible combinations. Also, don't forget you need to... <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> okay, we have to double it <laughs> to get... Great, okay, that's fine. Perfect. Well, let's try 16 then, I guess. Um... If it's 16, I'm not bad. Okay, it's not shit. I'm so embarrassed. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> okay. It's not sixteen. Um Wow, we're losing points quick. Oh, we don't even get to keep our notation. Shit. Okay, so we have the eight. Um maybe we can do like that then. So eight, nine, and eleven, twelve, thirteen, oh my god, wait, okay, no. Okay, wait, we have... Okay. <laughs> Go back to the original ones we had. So we can do 11... Of that. Then we can do 11... That. Then we can also do 11... 12... 11... 13... 11... 14... We can do all of them. Shit, okay, wait, so... Oh, God, okay. <laughs> So, we had the eight of it. No, oh my god, I'm gonna have to redo all of that. So that's, okay, five, six, seven. Oh my god, I can't even draw that low down. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven combinations with just eleven, eleven, and then one. Eleven, that's fine. Give that note. And then we've got. 12, 13, 13. Now we've done that one. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um, I can't even remember the other combinations in my head now that we even came up with. Um, we could do two, we could do three. It's so hard to write on a mouse as well, which does not help. Five. Six. No, we can't do six. Okay, six doesn't count. There's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, once. No, 17. Okay. It says double it, so I'm gonna go 34. That's, that was a free, but sure. Well, here's my guess. Hang on. <laughs> Professor, I'm sorry. Okay, fair enough. Jesus Christ. I'm kind of got that. There we go, no. Here you go, a series of three or more numbers of the same digit appears for it, yeah. Oh! <laughs> we- we didn't get it wrong. We just- we didn't do 10 o'clock. We did midnight, but that was 12. So yeah, okay. We basically substitute one for another. Precisely the answer I was looking for, Luke. Well done, my boy. Okay, nice. It appears to be a clock tower. Okay, right. Let's look for some 
coins. This doesn't look like it's gonna open anytime soon. Oh my god, another puzzle. Okay, great. Hopefully not as hard as the other one. Um, why don't we see what that person has to say first, Professor? Oh, never mind. Oh, hello. I'm Percy, Seen Mysteries, um, Mysteries, uh, unofficial writer in residence. Where you hold a manor, you ask? Head up that road to the right. It's immense, so you'll know what you know it when you see it. Before you go, why not try your hand at this puzzle I fought up? See if you can figure out uh, which house is mine from the instructions I give you. I'll sweeten the deal for you. If you manage to solve the puzzle, I'll tell you about this village. So how about it? We, you will try it, won't you? After all, a writer is nothing without an audience. Uh, Percy. Where's my, where my house? <laughs> can you find my- oh my god, wait, can you find my house? Go- wait, go out the front door of my place, turn left, at the first intersection you come across, take a right, turn right again at the following intersection, you'll come face to face in the morning sun. Well first of all, I need to- I don't know which- where does the sun rise from? Wait, where- it's the west, right? Um. Where it's the east. It's it's literally the east. <laughs> okay, so basically we have to end up looking east. So turn right. Wait. Okay. T turn right and then turn right again at the following intersection. You'll find the house. So we need to leave out, and then it's like turn right, turn right. This one, because if you come out of here, you turn right and turn right again. The face face of the morning sun, which is east that way. So it wouldn't be these two because they've got the same. I'm cheesing it. It, can, it can't be any of these four because they have two that are the same. So there's no way to differentiate them. Um. This one, if you went out, turn right, and then right again, you're facing south. This one, you go in left, turn right, turn right, you... Okay, we'll try that one. That should do it. Oh. oh. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, try again. It, it would be an awful lot of work to try check your directions for the doorstep of each house. You end up facing the morning sun. Uh, right. You end up facing the morning sun, you must be facing... Okay, so yeah, it is... Back on the fact that you're not an idiot like me and know where the sun rises. Yeah, okay, it rises in the east. That's that's fine. Okay. <laughs> oh, I thought we had that. <laughs> okay. Go out of the front door of the place. I t oh, my. <laughs> you have to turn left first. That's why, you fucking idiot. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, so it's left, right, right, so like that. So we want to- wait, okay, so you come out here, turn left, right, then right. Turn left, right, and right now. Then left, can't go right. <laughs> okay, this one. Turn left. Right. You boys an idiot. Mm -hmm. We're doing it wrong, is the problem. Go out my front door and turn left. So here, left. At the first intersection you come across, take a right. At the next, turn right again at the following intersection, right. It's for the sun. So we need to move it all that way, so it's one looking... Turn the left, the right, right. It's that one. That shouldn't have been that hard. Luke, here's my answer. There we go. God damn it. <laughs> puzzle solved. And now we have a, a weird number. Okay, that's right. The problem is, uh, is we're working backwards to find a job. We got first year, yeah, 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 yeah. Blah blah blah. Yeah, we're, we're idiots. Impressive. I I thought I'd set out quite the uh, quite the puzzle, but you made short work of it. After the gossip I promised you, the Rainhold family owns all of the land this village is built upon. I hear they own all the buildings too. I guess you could say this place, uh, this town sort of belongs to the Rainholds. Well, I'd be on my way now. 
Rest assured, the next time we meet, I'll have a hard puzzle for you. Right. We're flopping hard. Yeah, there we go. There's... Okay. E. More coins. More coins. More coins. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... I, I don't see any more. But he said check this after we talked to him. But Professor, isn't Lady Dali expecting us now? Oh, never mind. Sure, okay. I guess I'll actually go on. Professor, look at that man standing in the street. He's blocking the path up to the Rainhill Manor. How terribly rude. Can we not just ask him to move? Perhaps he'll move for us, but I have a feeling he had no intention of doing anything um, doing anything of the sort. Okay... Puzzle? Hold up. Never seen you two here before. What couple of fresh faces like you yourselves doing here? We're here by invitation of the rain halls. Now if you'll excuse us, we have business through the gate. Business with, uh, uh, business with the rain halls. is that so? Something stranger? Yeah, Use it. you're a fish bear. Um, I won't trust you, that's for sure. Well, you pass if you can all with, we'll see. Just to warn you, it's a tough one. It ain't gonna be easy, is it? No way, definitely not gonna be easy. Hopefully it's easy. <laughs> Lightweight. Okay, four you. Here we are. Okay, here we have eight small weights that look all look the same. However, one of the weights, um, wait, one of the weights in the group is slightly lighter than the rest. Use a scale two. Wait, use a scale two times. You can find out which the weight, uh, which the weight is lighter. So we just have to guess. This is how it means the load on both sides are equal. Yeah. If we do that. I've oh, done it in such a weird order. Okay, so that means one, two, three, or four are the lowest. Okay. Wait, no, I'm an idiot. Wait, okay, wait, sorry. It's one, two, three, four. Okay, stop being an idiot. Wait, okay, wait, wait. let me do that again. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna punch myself in a second. One, two, three, four. Oh. Okay. This is what I did originally, right? Wait, am I being an idiot? <laughs> oh my god, yeah, five, six, seven, eight are the lighter ones. Okay, five, six, seven, eight. Do, 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 do. We're getting out five or six of the lighter one. I'm assuming we're not supposed to reset every time then. <laughs> okay, wait, five, six. Seven, eight. The fuck? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Does it change every time? Or am I being dumb? I'm assuming I can't reset it every time. That's probably cheating. <laughs> yeah, okay, I can't. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, here we have eight small weights on the same. However, one of the weights is slightly lighter than the rest. You know, let's go two times. You can find out which of these weights is lighter than the rest. Okay. Well, I mean, the key thing is we can only use it twice, which is annoying. Then we have to reset it. No, okay, wait, no, but it's it's side dependent actually, is what it seems like. Oh. <laughs> what? Okay, so it's 
Is it free up? No, wait. Why, why did I even attempt to do that? I actually have no idea where we're going with this. Wait. it's We have to do this one as well to like get through. One of the weights in this group is slightly lighter than the rest. God. Because, <laughs> like, I did one, two, three, four over here. Oh, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, f wait. It says five and six, seven, eight of the light ones, but I swear to that earlier and it gave me a different reading. Or am I being dumb? I think I'm being dumb. No, five, six, seven, eight are now heavier. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. That's fine. Sure. Um. I, I genuinely have no idea how we're going to go about this. Can we just pick out two random ones and hope for the best? I'm assuming not. <laughs> I feel like that'd be a bit too easy. Oh. That should do it. Never mind. <laughs> the key to success. I just reset it and that self puzzle is no guess what you must load three weights on each side of the scale with your first measurement. Yeah! That one. Uh <laughs> kinda cheese that one. Hey, not half bad. Pretty sharp bunch, aren't you? Uh good sharp apples, the two of you. So, have we satisfied you? May we pass now? Of course you can pass. Move along, you better make sure you give my regards to Lady Dahlia. <sighs> Oops. Okay. More. Oh. Didn't we run away to Rain Home? Okay, shut up, Luke. <laughs> Let me click everything first. A building at top of the hill, it must be Rain Home Manor. Okay. I'm gonna misclick that so many times. Okay, he kind of scares me. I don't look at this man. The garden's big, but there's not much um, to look at here. He's kind of scary. And just who might you be? My name is Leighton, and I'm and this is my assistant. Uh, assistant. <laughs> we received an invitation to visit Rainhold Manor. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> We've been expecting you, Professor Leighton. But who? You'll have to excuse my skepticism. Can't trust anyone these days, you know. For all I know, you could be, uh, you could be just another who 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 again in that top hat. A uh, who who. Um. So how do I know you're the real Leighton? Did you hear that, Professor? The nerve of this fellow! Surely you aren't going to go um through this after uh go through this after an insult like that. Now, now, Luke, settle down. Sir, are you saying that you don't need to test to see if I'm the real Professor Leighton? Precisely, Professor Leighton. Now, if you don't mind, would you please solve this puzzle for me? He's got some luscious lips. Wolves and chicks. Ooh. <gasps> the three wolves and the three chicken above the um, across the other side of the river. The following conditions. Okay. No more than two animals can ride the raft at the same time. Okay. There must be at least one animal on the raft in order to move it. More, if more wolves and chicks stay on either side of the river, the wolves will eat the chicks and they have to start over. Okay, move the raft as many times as you like. Okay. So short. Okay, move one of each first. Take a chicken out of her. Okay, not just do this. Oh! I get it. Okay. Wait, but if I bring it. I could. Yeah, okay, never mind. Huh? No, that don't work, because that's just what we did originally. Let's try. Two worlds. Let's bring one back. I can't do that though, can I? Shit. <laughs> oh my god, wait. 
It's like torrential rain outside. Oops. You can only put two on there at a time. Oh, wait. No. No, but I can't get that chicken over. Wait. Shit. <laughs> Cause if I do this, that chicken's gonna die. Oh my god. Why am I an idiot? Why am I an actual idiot who can't work this out? I do want to do this though. I like this. But then we're stuck. <laughs> We've basically just undone what we- Oh wait! Here we go. And we actually did it in the fastest moves as well. There we go! That should do it. I need to do my Duolingo shit. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> well done, this puzzle is, uh, so, yeah, 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 sure. Uh, fun fact time, uh, there are several variations of this puzzle, river crossing puzzle, and they appeared in writing dating back of, uh, to over a thousand years ago. Interesting. Oh, do excuse my earlier rudeness. Let me show you to the manor. Everyone's waiting for you. Everyone? I was under the impression that Lady Dahlia was the only person expecting me. Right this way, please. So he's like the butler? I guess. The any coinages is. That doesn't seem to be. Okay. Is this the manor, Professor? Oh, it does. It does not translate well to split screen. <laughs> it's positively gigantic. Just look at the size of it. it. Certainly seems like we've come to the right place. Okay, we made it. <laughs> we guys, we are steamrolling. <laughs> now nah, we've taken we've taken so long on like two or three puzzles. Press and Luke finally arrive at Reinhold Manor. Let's head in, shall we? Yes, sir. I'm like addicted to click everything. I'd wa I'd wager this stream connects to that river outside. I like keep misclicking because I'm so fast clicking through all this. Wow, can you imagine living in such a massive place? We're just gonna go in. Screw it. Welcome to Rainhold Manor. Thank you for coming. I am Matthew, butler and servant of the Rainhold family. Oh my god. I wanna look at the rain. It's like torrential. <laughs> <laughs> it is a lot of rain. Oh my god. I'm, I've got you need to know as well. Oh, okay. Welcome to Rainhold Manor. Thank you for coming. I am Matthew, butler and servant of the Rainhold family. Everyone is waiting upstairs for you. So the other guy isn't a butler. Ah, oh, but before you go, I have a message from Lady Dahlia. She has requested that you take a look at this puzzle. Please don't, um, please do not be taken aback. Madam has the strangest sense of pr a priority sometimes. Okay, another puzzle. Oh. Wait. So move a match, hold it in the center and drag it to rotate the match, grab one end. Okay. This guy's obviously a match this probably. One poor pooch. The match is below arranged in the shape of a dog. This poor little guy was just minding his own business when a car came barreling over the road and ran him. Ran him over. We too much to change the picture so it shows the dog after the accident. All pull. Wait, what? So he's dead. <laughs> Wait. So I'm guessing this is the tail. Oh, wait. Actually, that's not. Wait, is it not just. Like that? Or is that too- that can't be right.
Um, because thinking, oh, just put it like that, so it's like flattened out like that. But then both his legs are in the air, so probably not. I would have thought that, like, because he's standing up like this, right? This is his head, this is body four legs. I was going to say, if we move it like that, then it's like, oh, he's flattened out. But the problem is, it would be more like here, really. I nearly submitted that. Uh... <sighs> Do I just submit that and hope for the best? No, stop. Let me try it. But I don't think it's right. I just want to try it. This is like the only thing I'm seeing. There we go. I'm not right. That should do it. Yeah, no. Or oh, we just wasted points for the fun of it. Again, so the dog was hit by a car, it probably isn't walking anymore. While it's all terrible beside I'm thinking about how a dog would look after the accident. Dead. Flattened. 81? Really? Oh, that's... Okay. Like, if he was flattened, you just... He, he's dismembered. Right, that could be it. A dead body like that. Like, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. <laughs> no idea, man. Okay. Much I don't think there's actually a hint there. It's just move it around and hope for the best. But do I want to waste more time on this problem? Oh my God, wait. Should do it. Critical thinking is the key to just move this. I just moved his both his back legs as okay, whatever, Jake. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> Can't find the poor dog. <laughs> oh. Okay, yeah, I don't know why I decided to move these two instead of just that. Okay, whatever, sure. Idiot. That's absolutely correct. My com uh, commendation, sir. Again, I do apologize for the strangest of, uh, strangeness of this request. Now please walk this way. We mustn't keep Lady Dahlia and company waiting. We mustn't keep her waiting, but let's make him do a puzzle first. Christ. I inspect... Oh, love that. Oh! On a vault! Okay, and now we lost it. Never mind, we got it. Could this be another Reinhold family portrait? Chandelier Castle, lovely woman go Okay, another puzzle. Bookshelves seem to align every wall of this estate. The Baron must be quite um must have been quite the avid reader. It's important to keep your mind sharp, Luke. So why don't you give her this puzzle a go? Again, we can't keep them waiting, but we'll do another puzzle, because why not? Alphabet. Okay. Alright, here's a quick and easy one. The first letter of the alphabet is A, and the letter B comes after A. However, the letter you need to worry about is the last one. What's the last letter of the alphabet? Is it going to be T? It's like the word alphabet. I think I've got it. Yeah, there we go. Easy. <laughs> that, 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 that's just one of them bloody like read the question ones. Mm -hmm. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> How did you like that puzzle? Um, how did you like that puzzle, Luke? I hope it prepared you for um, for tackling more difficult puzzles. Yeah, we're just bad. Uh, imagine being smart, Jasmine. Here we go. How are you doing, Jasmine? You feeling better now? <laughs> oh wait, I washed my hair. Wait, I literally feel gel in my hair. I'm gonna have to rinse that again. Jesus Christ. Uh, Professor, look at these paintings on the wall here. Okay. It's a very nice portrait, isn't it? I bet that's the um that's the late Baron Reinhold picture there. Pictured there. 
What about this one, Professor? Who's this pretty girl? Uh, who could this pretty girl be? Maybe the Baron? No, not the Baron. The, um, Lady Dahlia? No. Um, the two portraits are next to each other, so they're likely family. She's probably the Baron's daughter. Oh. Yeah, that one. That's exactly right, sir. You are looking at the portrait of Flora, the late Baron's daughter. Oh, uh, okay. Pardon me for asking, but I couldn't help but notice your keen interest in art. Would you take care? Of, uh, would you care to take this old thing with you? It could be. It could. Wait. It used to hold the most wonderful painting. However, I know all that's left of it is this sc small scrap. Okay, you find a scrap painting. Oh, painting option has been added to your trunk. I don't remember this shit. So this is a piece of that old painting then. How interesting. Okay, let me save. It's been a bit of an hour, right? Wow, 53 minutes and we've done nothing. <laughs> we've barely done anything. We've been stuck with the same puzzles. Okay, yeah, sure. I should probably be reading this. I don't know why I'm not reading this. Here we are. There's 20 pieces. So that's all I need to know. There we go. We've done it. Mysteries. Okay, the golden apple. Uh, the late Baron Reinhold hid this item in the St. Mister just before dying, and has promised the whole of his fortune to the one who finds it. No one has any clue what the golden apple might be or where it is hidden. Hey. Well, wait, do we talk to you again? Or do we just go upstairs? Please make your way up to the second floor. Okay, there we go. Here we go, cutscenes. After the blurry ass cutscenes are hilarious. Oh. Oh? Jesus Christ, that's a massive nose. Oh, you must be Professor Layton, I presume. It's an honor to make your acquaintance. Oh no, the pleasure's all mine. Oh. oh no! Look how you died! Oh. Aww. Oh, <laughs> Get the cats a peace out, bitch. Honestly, why am I constantly surrounded by incompetence? This is a disaster. Whatever is the matter. Oh, this is simply terrible. My dear sweet baby, my Claudia. Your Claudia? Sweet, sweet Claudia. My little, my little honeykins. My smoochy pie. My baby. Matthew, Matthew. Just talk to everyone else. You're Professor Layton, yes? My name is Gordon. I'm among those who request your service. I'd like to explain our situation further, but right now it's probably best to do so with Lady Dahlia says. Name's Simon. I'm Baron Reynolds' nephew. My fa the father- wait, my father's little brother of Gordon here. However, he was, until he kicked the bucket, as they say. I digress, you're the famous Professor Layton, right? I thought you'd have more presents. Well, never mind that. Um, I take it you won't mind if I fail puzzle your way. It should prove difficult for a man of your ability. Yes, if you're as good as they say, this shouldn't amount to much more than a distraction. God. What, what a dickhead. It's him. Oh, I can lie. Oh, it's maths. Ugh, no! <laughs> I sh- Okay, do I remember Pythagoras' theorem? No. <laughs> okay, um... As shown in the diagram below, you have four quarters of a circle. Within this circle, um, wait, within the circle is rectangle A, B, C, D. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Which touches the edge of the circle at point D. Assuming that point B is located at the center of the circle, how long is there a diagonal A to C? Jesus Christ. Um, how, how do we work out the hypotenuse? 5, 5. Oh my god. Is this actual soccer toe? <laughs> this is too much, man. I've... Oh my god. I'm not gonna be able to work this out. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a 45 degree angle, right? No, that's just not right. Or is it? Wait. This is 90, 45, 45. And that makes... Yeah. Wait, I actually have to do maths. Oh my god, there's no way I actually have to do maths, right? Or is this me being delusional thinking I don't have to? I think it's 7, right? It's normally 5, then 6, then 7. 
But it depends what this length is. Oh wait, no. I'm a fucking idiot. That's ten in total. I swear there used to be a drawing pad. Oh, the whole thing's a drawing pad, that's fine. So like, up until here, this is five. The whole f wait, no. The whole thing is, I can't write down that, 10 inches. Bad does not look like a 10, we move. Um, okay. 10 inches. Then you got this little bit that we need to equate for. Um, yeah, literally. <laughs> I kind of want to just guess seven and be done with it, but it's not seven. It has to be, but well, it's between, it's more than five and it's less than 10. <laughs> so we have six, we have seven, we have eight, we have nine, we have 10. If we want to guess, it's nine, this one. And then we can work that out by doing Pythagoras' theorem. <laughs> Oh, do I remember Pythagoras' theorem in that? I'm gonna actually have to write it down. It's b squared equals, no. Oh my god, what is Pythagoras' No, that's not Pythagoras' theorem, it's the a squared e. Oh my god, wait. <laughs> I actually don't remember. <laughs> we, we're gonna go to GCSE maths and to see how to do, um, work out the hypotenuse. <laughs> how to work out. Hi, Potter News. There we go. Oh, okay. Uh, a right angle triangle. Oh my god, I don't actually want to do maths. Come on, man. Okay, a squared equals b squared. No, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Let me get. Where's my notepad? We're not using a calculator. We're actually going to have to write it down. <laughs> so dead. Okay, a squared, so a squared is our, we'll use five, five squared plus nine squared equals c squared, which is our hypotenuse. Am I just doing something completely wrong? <laughs> okay, and then, okay, so that's um, 25 plus 81 equals 80, okay, 100, that cannot be right. <laughs> what is 864? That can't be right either. I think if it's 7, um, it's 49. 49 add 25. Right. My brain is not mathing right now. 25, that's 74. 74 is... That would have thought it would be an easy number that you could work out for a child. Because I don't think a child actually knows Pythagoras' theorem. <laughs> I must be doing this wrong. <laughs> there is no... Look, I'm literally trying to do ma... It's flipped. It's not gonna matter. Okay. Right. It can't be in like... No, okay, we can't do decimals, so it has to be a whole number. That's fine, that's, that's good to know, actually. I mean, technically speaking, it can't actually be longer than 10, right? Can it? There has to be a non-maths way of doing this. <laughs> okay. So this is 5 inches. Like, that's also 5 inches. We can't be doing Pythagoras' theorem, surely. Cause that's, okay, this is either 6, 7, 8, 9, it can't be 10, and it can't be 5. Long. I think it's definitely longer than 5. 8 squared, 64. 64, and 25. I'm, I'm so done already. That's 89. 89, no, that's 89. Square root of 89 is... Not possible in head, in your head. <laughs> Wait, okay, great. That isn't good. Then we need the square root of that. <laughs> Only I'm not gonna work. You know what? Let's try it. What's the square root of 106? Because that's the number we came up with. Um, square root of 106, and then we'll round it. Apparently, it's 10. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, that didn't... Fuck it. What, what other guests do we have? Luke, here's my answer. <laughs> okay, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Oh, piss off, wait. Okay, the diagonal line AC is the same length as the diagonal BD. BD is the same length as the circus. Ah, oh, wait, that's actually so smart. Okay, fair enough. Well, I did actual maths. You can't see it, but I did actual maths to work that out. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That, again, at least there was a non math way of doing it, because as a child, there was no way I was ever going to get that. Ho oh, ho. It appears you are the real deal, uh, Professor. I apologise for doubting you there. It seems you've got quite the puzzle- the mind for puzzles. A lesser man than myself might be considered- uh, might be considered je um, wait. Might consider jealousy to be a reasonable response. Anyhow, you're not going to get a word out of Dali right now, so you might as well do as she says- Okay. Let me just click a random room for coins. I need my coins. I clicked him again. Yeah, yeah, I, the same thing. We don't care. Look, there's a puzzle hidden here, Professor. Professor. Okay. 110. Okay, we took a big jump. The vanishing cube. Oh god, it's another matchstick one. Okay, on the table below are four cubes made of matches. Can you change four cubes to three by moving a single one? By mo wait, by moving a by moving one match, turn that into ha what the hell? On the table below are four cubes m made up of matches. Can you change four cubes to three by moving a single match? I literally have no idea where we'd even start with that. Wait, no, I know. There? Then that's one cube, two cube, three cube. Right? Well, here's my guess. <laughs> Big brain moment. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I, I'm surprised I had to go that quick. There we go, yeah. Jesus Christ. I was like, where is the, like, breakup point? Piece of cake. Now let's go find more puzzles. Okay. Wait, I want to look at the puzzle index, because that is a very big jump between puzzles. I'm assuming that's, like, a hidden one. But still. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 110. So it was number 8 as well, which I don't know where that is. We'll see. Okay. Let's actually just talk to her then. Madame, what is it? What in the world happened? My little Claudia got scared and ran off. Didn't you see a dart out of her room? I I must have missed her. I'm terribly sorry, madam. Oh, you're just useless, aren't you? Professor, um, you didn't see which way my baby ran off to, did you? Your baby, madam. You were referring to the white cat. I saw it run out of that door a moment ago. What? And you simply stood there and let her escape? I hate her already. Well, she is a cat. They are animals, after all, and animals must run from time to- You fool, she's not just a cat. She has a name, and that name is Claudia Rainhold. She is a delicate flower, and she is simply a mess when I'm not close by to comfort her. She is- I bet the cat is chilling. <laughs> Matthew, I need you to find Claudia and bring her back immediately. About this little inheritance problem of yours, Lady Dahlia. That can wait. Can't you see that there are more pressing concerns on our hands at the moment? Yeah, um... Ignore the dead man. Um, my cat's missing. <laughs> you should have stopped her, and you didn't. You have a responsibility to find Claudia and bring her back. Hmm. Sending the professor off to find the silly cat. The nerve. Who do you think you are? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, it's fine, Luke. Besides, Lady Dahlia does have a point. It does seem we let Claudia run off. Don't. Don't fall for that. Hi, hey, Plover. How's it going? How you doing? Yeah, we're so clever. Madam, if you'll excuse us, we'll have a, uh, we have a cat to track down. Thank you, and please hurry. My Claudia is a delicate flower. Even the coarsest outdoor air might, might prove too much her. Noise of a manor added to your stone mistress. 
Who's your feline? Lady Dolly's cat has escaped. Search the St. Mr. for runaway feline. Okay, so this is an actual- Okay, so this is a new chapter. We could technically end it there. Let's not. Why are you still here? Uh, do us all a favor and find the cat here, so we can discuss the inheritance. Use the cats. I do hope you bring that cat quickly. Um, didn't we call you out here to track down lost pets? After we didn't call you to track down lost pets after all. Is I hope all of them die. That's a bit much, Jake. <laughs> okay, leave. I'm terribly sorry, Professor. Um, I will personally search the manor and the sea grounds. I, I feel dreadful asking, but would you mind taking a quick look um, about the time to see if Claudia is there? Don't you give it to the second fort, my good man. We are on the case. <laughs> oh! She's right here. <laughs> Professor, there she is! <coughs> Chat, she ran off. Can't stop now. Let's give chase, Luke. Really? Oh, blast that bit. Looks like the engine blew out. The same, so this is St. Mr. A. Famous stomping ground of the late Baron August, Augustus Reynold. I wonder what kind of tricks that old coup itself the village before he shoveled off. I will hate you, you ridiculous dandy. Just you wait. All the treasure you seek will be mine. <laughs> He looks like Waluigi. <laughs> uh, find Claudia. This guy again. Oh, it's you, mister. Please call me Raymond. Oh, can I be of some assistance? As a matter of fact, yes, Raymond. Lady Dahlia's cat slipped out of the house. Have you seen her about? Do you mean Cla uh, d dear Claudia? I think I saw her pass through here and went into town a few moments ago. When she had to cross the, the boat. <laughs> if that's the case, I'm sh um, I sure wish you'd bother to catch her before she ran away. I'm just going to talk to everyone just in case. Need something? You do, don't you? Yep, I can see it in your face. An open book is what you are. Excuse me, but you didn't happen to see Lady Dahlia's cat come through here a moment ago, did you? Ah, Fluffy White Killer, yeah? I think she ran towards ta the town square. Yep, she went that way. I see. Thank you. Think enough of him, buddy. If only all questions were that easy, um, easy to answer. Well then, I'll be off. Who'd have thought he turned out to be such a nice guy? Shall we head to the town square, then? Indeed, let's be off. Hold on. Let's take a look, um, look at what's behind that blue door. You see it. That blue door over there seems to have, um, appears to have an open, to be open a crack. Let's take a look inside. Okay. Ooh. There you go. Oh, yeah, wait. Everything in here is caked in dust. Uh, the bread and cheese are here, um, here, yeah, anything but fresh. Yow. Um, yeah, I'm here for my hint tokens. That is, uh, I'm guess. The candle's highlighted, so I'm assuming the candle is something. Oh! I thought that was the buzz. <laughs> There's something I find very charming about this chair. Oh, it reminds me, Luke. Have you heard this one before? No. Which chair? Okay, great. New multi-purpose event hall is being built in the centre of your town. It will be used for everything from concerts to sporting events to conventions. With the hall complete, it's time to order the chairs. Five chairs designed, labeled A through E, are being considered, but all of the designs only have one chair. Oh, wait, but wait, but of all the designs, only one chair is uh, quite suitable for an auditorium. Which chair is that? I mean, if we're thinking about it realistically, it's probably A or E, right? Uh, from sporting events to concerts, uh, conventions, it's not D or C. I'm gonna go E because you don't have you don't have to like mess around with any handles or I well handles armrests. There we go. That was just a logic one. I just Save which one looked better. <laughs> oh, and you can stack it. Yeah, good point. 
That's right, so all designs are only equally stacked. Okay, yeah, good point, never mind. Well, fair enough, different logic, but yeah. Well done. I suppose this puzzle was too easy for you, my boy. Oh, painting scrap, okay, nice. Okay, I thought this was gonna be the puzzle. Okay, my boy, this extinguished candle reminded me of a simply wonderful puzzle. Like, why are we here? Just a two puzzle? How many are left? Ten candles stand burning in the dining room. A strong breeze blows through the open window and extinguishes two of them. Okay, so eight. Checking back in on the candles later, you see one more has gone out. So make sure no flames go out, you shut the window. Assuming the wind doesn't extinguish any more candles, how many candles do you have left? Is it going to be ten? Because they don't disappear. It's going to be one of them stupid logic ones, isn't it? It's not going to be that... Because they didn't go missing. They're just out. Yeah. Um, we got debated. <laughs> Two, I think about the problem once more. The puzzle asks you to figure out um, how many candles you left behind, but what is that left in the end? I thought we got that, but sure. Okay, wow. We're... Okay. Yeah, one. To... Okay, yeah. Make sure the flame. No more flames go out, you shut the window. Assuming that the wind doesn't extinguish any more candles, how many candles do you have left in the end? And it's not 10. <laughs> we'll try 7. I don't think that's right. That was the world's most shocking 7 as well. This is an easy one as well. It's neither. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, I was sure I had it. Okay. That's fine. Uh, tank of a bed. Burning in a dining room, strongly blows, uh, blows in from an open window and extinguishes two of them. Jump back at the candles later, you see one more candle has gone out. To nine? That's a G. Because <laughs> one's actually left. No, um, <laughs> I just guess I've been on for this point. <laughs> I've let you down, Professor. Oh my god, okay. Wow, I clearly haven't paid enough attention. Jesus Christ. Oh, okay, it doesn't go further down. Um, okay, check out what's boy, you see what's got out. To make sure no more flames go out, you shut the dust. I've guessed 7, 9, and 10, and neither of them worked. Uh, I definitely did 10, right? Or did I write 10 wrong? I don't know. Uh, a strong breeze blows. This is an easy one as well, allegedly. It's literally ten picarats. Um, checking back in on the window, eh? Oh my god. <clears throat> Did I not put ten? I thought it was ten. But that was my original. Did I just write ten wrong? I'll guess it again. I can't lose anymore. No, it's not okay. That's fine. I'm so I was like, I'm sure we did write ten. But what does it actually mean? Is what it's saying. Okay. I'm not using any hidden coins on this because I'll be dumb to. Hmm. Okay. Okay. But yeah. Because it's like, okay, if two go, okay, extinguishes two of them. Wait, okay, so the candle's gonna bit. Okay, so is it three left? Because the other seven would continue to burn out. So the three that are already out would be left. There we go, yeah. So by the end of the night, the other f seven would have been out. That makes sense. Okay, yeah, there we go. Let's the seven candles I might just say lit will compel me about yeah. Sure. Uh I mean the most logical thing would be relight the candle, but sure whatever. Excellent work, my boy. Sometimes it's important to consider the obvious too. That would what <laughs> I thought I was being obvious. Delving too deep into the implied can cause misconceptions. He just said, yeah, get baited, dickhead. Wait, it appears that no one is working the shop. Okay, so why did we come in here? I was like, yeah, we worked that one out a while ago. <laughs> hey, you two, help me out here, would you? I mean, we all pickle. 
What seems to be the problem, sir? Some knucklehead went and raised the uh, bridge while I was on break. Hm. Then, as if it wasn't bad, bad enough, the child had made off with my only bridge crank. Hm. Oh dear. You mean to say... Hm. You got it, buddy. Until the, um, that thing shows up, no one is getting out of this town. They know out of this town. I'm still looking for that basic crank. I've seen too much red to get anything done. It's fine, Jazz. I also said 10. <laughs> that was my first answer. <laughs> What kind of punk, uh, punk pulls a prank like this, anyhow? Oh, yeah. I found this dude I want to shoot when I was um, out looking for my crank. But any idea what it is. You found a strange gizmo. Okay. I don't remember this either. Try to assemble various mechanical parts together around town. Okay. Oh, cat. Wait. Um, well, we found Claudia. Um... Oh, we have to build something. Okay. A dog? This one's go. Yeah, sure. That's fine. I mean, it looks like a dog. I'll assume it's a dog. I think it's a dog. Okay, I thought we were going to have to move it around. That, that's fine. Apparently, we just click it and it, it does it itself. Uh, Let's... I want to go in here first. Go away. It's just, um, it's just forms and pens as far as I can see. Blah! Blah! <laughs> oh, wait, we left by accident. It's a gorgeous chandelier, but it's all tarnished. There's no hints in here. Okay, that's fine. Probably a puzzle then. This is the town hall. What business do you have here? <laughs> you just moved to town. I'll strongly advise you to fill out a change of address form. Oh no, we aren't here for anything like that. Regardless, all the town and the hall visitors must complete the proper forms. You can start with this one. Coming up with voices where everyone's gonna be a fucking nightmare. I'm gonna forget after them. Triangles and ink. Oh my god. <laughs> Here are two shapes. One large and one small. Each are made up of little triangles. Dipping the fountain pen in the ink one time gives you enough to, um, ink to draw four little triangles depicted by a shape on the left. Um, so that man, how many times do you have to dip your pen in order to make a... No, just nine? Okay, wait, so one is three strokes, one, two, three. No, it's not, what? Okay, wait, what, okay, one dip does all of this. All of that's gone. Then is it not just two? Because even if you do the second one, but you do the... Th oh, wait, and the third one's here. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. See, I thought it was nine anyway, because you have to do four. But there's overlapping lines. So do you need to do that? Probably not. But I'm going to... I feel like nine's too easy. <laughs> Especially for 40. Um... Because the thing is, yes, like, if I did this, so this is my one, two, three, four. That's fine. But then you do this one. One, two, three, four. But then you've already got that line. So is it like that and then an extra line? There's one extra line, then two extra lines, three extra lines. That whole one. I want to guess eight, but I'm going to go nine first. Because <laughs> I feel like nine's the obvious Look, answer. Here's my answer. Yeah, it's too obvious. Ah, I suppose. You know, the two shapes and pay attention to the uh, phrase enough ink to draw four little triangles. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. I'm confused about this part, like the fact that you can move four triangles with one dip. It's like, are we like? I'm assuming it's like we literally go over each bit one. That's one. Completely, there's at least one, funnily enough. Um, two. My thing is now, because there's an overlap in the line, so you wouldn't actually have to use that one. So it's like one, two. Okay, wait. You know what makes sense? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. <laughs> 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine lines for each. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I count seven then. That should do it. <laughs> I lost count of my own number. There we go. It is that. That's fine. <laughs> Every puzzle has an Okay. Oh wait, that makes so much more sense, yeah. Literally okay, yeah. We we got baited essentially. Okay, that, that's fine. We did it in a more complicated way, but we got there. <laughs> Nicely done. As you may have noticed, everyone in this town is simply crazy about puzzles. I strongly advise you to solve as many puzzles as you can. Oh, and while I'm at it, I strongly advise you to drop, um, drop in at Granny Riddleton next door. She's a very uh, veritable treasure trove of, of puzzle related to inform a layer. Just be aware she's not always home. Hmm. Got nobody gives more. I'm still looking for that blasted crick. Um, I don't seem too much right to do anything. <laughs> okay, yeah, shoot, that's the same stuff. Claudia! Wow! <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. Fluffy, check! Purple bow, check! Song expression, check! No doubt about it, that's Claudia. Good eye, Luke. Now, we've, uh, now we have located her. The question at hand is how we're we going to catch her. Leave this to me, Professor. Ah oh, yes, I've forgotten. Um, you have a way of animals. Well, go right ahead then. Oh, here, Claudia. Here, girl. Oh. Ah! Hey. Yeah, she got scar. Ah, poor Luke. Luke, are you all right? I'm sorry, I wasn't with help, Professor. She's far feistier than I imagined. Ah. Oh. And this random guy just turned up. Oh, Deke. Hmm. Yeah, I saw the cat. She almost got your eye out. Uh, help, help catch her, you say? Thanks, but no thanks. I like living. Do you see that ferocious piece? I'm not going anywhere near her. Could you at least tell us which direction right now? I saw that killer scurry off westward. Just thanks to of daggers. Massive teeth. Massive. Oh, I almost forgot. We ought to visit the local inn, see if we can um if we can't produce some rooms for the night. Sounds good to me, Professor. I was certain that saw the inn near the entrance of the village, just south of the plaza we're in. Let's head over right now to see if we can't we can't set up some lodging. Should it be we can set up some lodging? Oh, I don't know. He's the one who speaks proper English, not me. But a war. Yeah. So how how good things? Then the inn's out, I've seen Misty, are you? Yep, some of the puzzles are the only way out of here. Um, is is the only way to get out of here. That's what the villagers value most. So how about a puzzle right now? A little practice will keep you from embarrassing yourself in front of the others later. As a diehard non-conformist myself, I'm a sucker for any puzzle who um, who needs to find out the old man out. Five cards. We still haven't found puzzle eight. <laughs> okay, if we have the four images shown below, our exact pictures rotate in a variety of ways. Can find that one out. Okay, so we'll check about the rotation, but, wait now. Okay, if we're looking at this one big gap here, wait, now, three of the four images shown below are the exact image rotate, uh, exact same picture rotate a variety of ways, yeah. So, A and B are the same, that's fine. A and B are definitely the same. Um, if I flip that, it's D. It's D. 
It's D. How does this sound? Because like I don't have to I think the red cards were flipped. I think. Yeah, there we go. Good job the puzzle's fair straightforward, but catching those little differences. Yeah, I was just gonna say, like, I was just trying to rotate them all like all at the same time, which is probably stupid and needed, but we got it, so. Okay. You certainly show the puzzle who's boss, didn't you? Here's the training I've been giving you has paid off. Feel free to thank me um, in any way you see fit. Well, I'll be seeing you around. Okay, another scrap painting. Let's organize that. Like a window. Like that, maybe. Switch. That much up here right now. That's something like that. It's like gonna be a chair, probably. I don't know. We'll go back. Uh, save quickly. Again, the end. Oh. Hey, hello there. Welcome to the inn, it seems, Mr. The only inn in town, you know. You see, this is a little, um, to our little village, quite where? 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 Oh, good day, madam. We seek lodging for a night. Do you have any open rooms we could rent? Oh my stars, what terrible timing. We're currently remodeling all of our guest rooms. Like, really? <laughs> they say they better get anything and then remodeling all of the rooms. The only rooms left are the attic kit, but if, if you don't mind, I'll make sure you are very welcome. I hope you will stay with us. It's been a while since a fine gentleman such as yourself stayed with us. The rooms are not very big, but I'm sure they'll sparkle. They sparkle. Can you come back in a bit? Oh, and I'll do my best to get you two normal rooms as ready as possible. Uh, rooms ready as soon as possible. Oh, thank you, but you you needn't trouble yourself on my behalf. As long as I have a bed to sleep in, I'm satisfied. Ah, oh, yes, about that. Oh, what terrible luck! You see, all the beds are <laughs> are being refin refinished. Uh, but don't worry, Mama Beatrice is going to take good care of you two. I'll I'll even drop a nightly rate. The nightly rate. Oh, the in option is bad. The trunk. And there's a puzzle in which you arrange the items in Luke and Professor's room. To access it, okay. Oh. Interesting. Here's something to make the place a little, feel a little bit more like home. I'll put a stool in my room. I don't remember any of these little mini games. Place furniture you've collected on either Luke or Fessel's room. You start to move the item, oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, so they in likes that, so we can keep that there, that's fine. Oh, yeah, actually, I need to read this. Noise. Okay, noise of the manor. While, while the professor was meeting with Lady Dahlia, Rainhold Manor was rocked by a noise so loud it shook the walls of the mansion and scared off Claudia. What could the source of that noise be? Right. The Vanishing Crank. Um, someone, stole, uh, someone has stolen the crank that controls St. Mysterious Bridge. Uh, the sole portal in and out of the town. Until the crank is recovered, there is no way to leave the town. Why would somebody want to steal a drawbridge crank? Uh, for the plot. <laughs> Just for the plot. Okay, um, anything you hear? Wait. Okay, there we go. I don't know if it's worth reading all of these, um, little things, because I click too quick to get through them. It's a bitch of a man. Is it Beatrice's husband, perhaps? Yes. Hello there, gentlemen. I've got a doozy of a puzzle on my hands here. Why did you give it a go? E Fair. Of dust and dust spam. What's wrong with all these matches, man? As you can see, uh, what we've got here is some trash and a dust spam made of matchsticks. You need two matchsticks to change the pictures of the dust spams along the trash. Uh, 
out. Hola? There we go. Okay, well, that was my bad then. <laughs> Another puzzle solved. Okay. That that was fairly easy. <laughs> Oh yes, just just as I suspected. Uh, the first time I laid eyes on you, I knew you were the man who knew puzzles. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Leave, I guess. Uh, better get back to search for Claudia, Professor. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we'll look for a cat, the damn cat. Oh God. Um, my hole. It wouldn't. Um, it wouldn't do to pop the top and have a look. Wait. It wouldn't do to pop the top and have a look. Oh. It's a menu for a restaurant. I wonder what that sign's for. I just want my hint coins. That I probably won't be using anytime soon. Oh. Wait. I'll subscribe to you surely, but could you please do today's word? But what do you mean? You're already subscribed to me. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait. Well, now I'm gonna have to do the Wordle. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. I haven't done Wordle in a while, to be fair. Ugh. Actually, no. That's not a lie. I think I literally did one, like, last week. Um, I also just realised the time. I, I have got uni tomorrow, so I will try and end stream soon. I mean, I could probably reach two hours stream, and that'll be fine. We'll see. Yes, yeah, so, like, I have to do the Wordle for a little bit. Now, I, I do like the little puzzles in this game, but it's like... Sometimes some of them are a pain in the ass. Okay, let's see if we can get any hidden coins over here. Uh, business looks slow right now. Okay. Hey, this is your first time here, isn't it? Well, if you're looking for a warm uh, meal and a hot cup of tea, you've come to the right place. Change it should be so empty, the food's as good as you say. Hey now, boy, no need to be snippy. That's just how the restaurant business is. There are times where places is packed and times where things are quiet. If it was always um, the rush hour, um, if it was always the rush hour, would I ever uh, prepare food for the rest of the day? Oh, and speaking of preparation, I got myself a little problem with my hands. You see, um, I've got to divide this eight quarter pitcher of juice into two equal portions. For the life of me, I can't seem to figure out my measuring, find my measuring cups. I wonder if there's a way I could use um, these five and three quarter pitchers I found. Oh god, it's gonna be a point one. Okay, for the juice pitchers. Here's eight quarter puzzles first eight. Okay, yeah. I know there's definitely a trick to this. Will I know the trick? Probably not. <laughs> okay. Uh, so what do we need? <laughs> wait, I've just been clicking. Um, so exactly, wait. Uh, okay, yeah. So we need exactly four. Oh wait, okay, there's a and I just realized there's a move counter. Okay, let's restart. Okay. Come on. Okay. There's definitely maths involved. Well I know the maths probably not. Yeah. We got a one. Seven in there. There we go. And then we get a three. There we go. Should do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, getting the one was the important detail. <laughs> there the key you go. Success. Well, they've keep um, long enough. Okay, yeah. Uh, oh, it's seven moves. I don't even know how many we did it in. We'll I was gonna say we'll see. We actually won't. Funny enough. Ah, oh, so that's it. Um, great thinking. Thanks a lot. We have troubles like this again. Would you mind if I call on you for help? Oh, I never exchange kids, man. Um, there we go. If I hear you two into puzzles, I'll tell you, it's obvious from the way you two are oogling these coins. You smell it, can't you? Well, you're right. These puzzles are- there's a puzzle in the, these coins. Have a look. Ugh. Equal arch triangle. 
Okay, in the drawing below, the tank went down range to clock a triangle. The triangle's pointing up, but can you get it to point down even three? I think I actually know how to do this. One, two, three. There we go. Look <laughs> it's because I've seen that before. Not obviously in this game, but I've seen that puzzle Another before. Puzzle. That's fine. Well, that, that was very quick. Yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah, sure. That was quick. <laughs> Yep, just like four. You guys have a bunch of puzzle nuts. Not for strange gizmo. They miss stairs full of puzzle lovers like you two, but not all of them are nice like me. Watch your back. Okay, so press. Okay. Beaton likes this. So moving this around didn't actually do anything, that's fine. Yeah, no, let's look like gizmos. So, okay, I can't actually change these then. I thought we could do this ourselves. We can't. It does it for us, which is kind of better. <laughs> Honestly, I, I would mess it up loads. Okay. So I wanted to look for coins there, but there we are. Oh, I've just had it this time. I think I'm going to explode, like a water blue filled with rage. What's that? Why am I angry, you ask? Why am I angry? Let me in here, will you? Uh, there are three bozos in town, and I j we just can't stand each other. So by that, none of us want to see um, each other's ugly mugs, but St. Mister isn't a big place, alright? Sometimes we cross paths on the way to work, and just like that, bam, time for a screaming match. I sure do, um, do wish we could find a way to keep from bumping into each other in the mornings. Hang on now, you look like you've got a good head on your shoulders. Do a guy a favor and help me with this. Okay. Unfriendly neighbors. Draw a path between one man's home and his work, connected by matching blocks. Okay. The catch is these men can't stand each other, so you have to make sure none of the paths touch. See like here. Oh, but then we can't do this one. And D's suck. Yeah. And D go like that? No, because then A can't get through. This is like that flow game that I used to play. Let's try see it all the way around. But how do we get A around? Oh. Well, this is more trial and error at this point. <laughs> The problem is getting around this. It's got something to do with these corners that we that I have to mess about with. Um, if that. Really quick. Uh, all right. That can't be right. Huh. <laughs> Okay, there's two, you I say unique things. One is the corners, and then two is that long building. So what can we use the long building with? Like that. I still can't get around that. I'm just trying to see anywhere I can move the puzzle up a bit, but I can't see it. I just go here. That's still cut off though.
We can't cross over at all. Oh my god, okay. Is it worth doing this? Now, we probably should. I was just thinking, do we just try to skip ahead? But it's fine. Well, we can stay on this for now. It's, the thing is the cross, which is the confusing part. I don't know how we get around that. Don't do that. Actually, can we do that? We can't go here, I'm assuming. No, we can't. Now blues check. Oh my god. We can't. No, 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 no. Didn't want to do that. Hmm. My god is telling me it's just like a link like that. That is up though. Just dropped off there. Oh my god, okay. I'll brief you. <laughs> Thanks, Plover. Um. Mm. Like, they can only go up to there. I was going to say, yeah, it's not like you can help much anyway, to be fair. Do we use a hint? Yeah. Not this puzzle is possible, but sure not. The first thing you should do is try and connect any pairs of blocks. Um, that will limit where your next path goes. Be as the shortest. Try enough times and you're sure to figure out. But how does that help us in any way? Half between the straight line, D goes. That's a straight line. Okay, at least we- okay, we got confirmation that B is a straight line. That's fine. I don't really want to use another hint. The path between B blocks is a straight line. D goes around to the north. Like that. <laughs> he also said, there we go. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Every puzzle has an answer. We didn't need a head, but it's fine. Oh, that's right. Now these guys don't even have to look at each other. Good job. Oh, so this bit we could have done either or. That's fine. Oh, thanks a million, guy. I, um, I can finally get to work without blowing my stack. I really mean it, Pally. <laughs> You're a lot smarter than you look. Oh, yeah, let me clue you in. Um, see that big old mess in the town centre beyond the town square? Uh, take a tip from me. If you know what's good for you, you'll stay away from that thing. Well, right then. I'm off. Thanks again, buddy. The <laughs> first try, obviously. <laughs> Another old lady. Sorry to trouble you, madam, but have you seen a white cat from by? A white cat? Oh, yes. It ran over that way towards the park. 
And may I ask you, what are you planning to do with it once you find it? We're going to take it back to Lady Dahlia. It's her cat, and she asks us to bring it back to her. <laughs> and you're trying, uh, trying to catch it with um, that cat barehanded? Oh, good heavens. That's a bit naive, don't you think? Listen here. Cats love treats. So try and it over some food. What do you suggest? I got some old fish bones around here that uh, I'm sure that little thing would go wild for. Um, I'd be happy to give them to you if you solve this puzzle for me. Okay, so we have to solve this one. To just eat them right there. Pigeon partition. Oh. Seven prize winning pigs are lazing about in the pen. To make sure the pigs don't fight with each other, you decide to section off the pen to three ropes. Can you hitch the ropes up um, to some of the posts shown below and separate each pig from its neighbor? Remember, not even snout or coat can sneak in with it. Okay. I can learn from them. Okay. So I'll do three. His ears cut off. I don't know if that's right. No. One. Two. So all of them have to be cut off. So it would be like that. Or something. But we don't have any more afterwards, do we? <sighs> if I remembered what I had before, that would be great. I actually can't remember what we had before. <laughs> I'm still not separating. What the hell? Why am I such an idiot? Like, actually. Let me stand up. <laughs> At least the music has slaps. Let me check the rain. Okay, we need to actually calm down now. Ugh. Oh, I still have to brush my teeth. I should brush my teeth on the stream, honestly. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, it's, a, it's like you can't cut anything off. It's like, yeah, it has to be like very obviously sectioned away like that. It's fine, I should assume. I don't see one that would easily cut. Okay, wait, let me cook. No, this one's free. Shit. Wait, no, but I need like that, that, right? This line feels correct. 
But then where am I going from there? My god. Do I want to use a hint again? I need to do this one. See, this is annoying because like, we used a hint on one that I don't think actually mattered. Whereas this one I think actually matters. See, if we can make a triangle like this around the middle pick, that deals with him. Like, if we do like that. But we need, like, a divider between that one and that one. We can't do that without... We did it. <laughs> there we go. There you go. That's fine. Every we worked out eventually. GM. I must say, I'm very impressed. Here you go, some fish bones, as I promised. Good luck with that cut. Very nice, thank you. Oh! A woman. Adria. Hee <laughs> hee! Um, that guy gets so worked up when he turns red like a tomato. He looks so dumb. Oh, that's all you want to say? Okay. Great. Thanks for your contribution, miss. Oh. I just- I keep accidentally clicking puzzles instead of the hidden coin. I just want coins. That filthy jar reminds me of a puzzle I once heard. I'm gonna forget all these puzzles and these names- no, not names. Voices tomorrow as well. Like, don't get me wrong. I can barely remember them now. This stuff. It's not gonna go great. A glass jar holds a single gem. After one minute, the gem splits into two gems. One minute after again, the two gems split again, forming a total of four. A continuing rate, a single book can multiply for the exactly one hour. Okay, so it's... After one minute, two. Can I just get a calculator and I'll just do two times two times two? Is it just 2 times 2 times 2 times 2? Is that right? Right, wait. 2 times 2, no. 1 times 2 times 2 is 4. 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh wait, it's just... It's 2 to the power of 60, right? Or is that me being naive? That's two to the power of sixty, right? Yeah. What's two to the power of sixty? Two to the power sixty. Never mind, that number is way too big. I don't think this is right. Two, two, three, five, six. Oh, fame for, yeah, I'm already getting to like, that's like 15 is 1,000, so that can't be right. Um, is there a set amount of, no, okay, wait. Five million. How many, okay, this is kind of cheating. I want to see the cap. So, 999, you can't even get to a million. That's fine. That's kind of good to know. Okay. One minute after that, two gems split again. Where are you getting from? It's 60, oh, oh wait, let's clear that. It's 60 minutes and an hour. Which is why I thought it'd be two to the power of 60. It's not. Oh wait, knowing this, how long in minutes 
Okay, so we're not guessing how... Okay. So it's how long... How many minutes? That's fine. I don't know why. I was trying to work out how many um, bacteria are in there. That's why I'm being an idiot. Okay, we had the question, Jake. Okay, let's... Okay, if it, okay after one minute, just what's the two? Let's write a single joke and multiply to full joke. Well, how do we know what the, the map? Okay, whatever, whatever. To fill the jar if you start with just two gems. Or just 60 then. I, I think I'm being really dumb here. I want to guess fit 60, 30, or 50. I think it's one of them. It probably isn't. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Um. Three, a single joke can multiply fill a jar in exactly one hour. No. 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 No, 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 no. I might have to use that in here. Or we could come back to it. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Yes, how long in minutes? So it's definitely under an hour, so we have a 1 in 60 shot. Great. I feel like it's not that high of a number, to be fair. I don't think it'll be 60. Um... I mean, 60 seems a bit obvious. I feel like I'm missing something. It's not hard? Oh my god, no, that's really embarrassing, man. <laughs> okay, a class just holds a single gem. After one minute, the gem is in the two. So it's definitely- okay, it's more than three minutes. <laughs> okay, so you got four. I continue with a single gem, can multiply the whole jar exactly. Okay, No, that's dumb. I was gonna say 15 because there's four gems in there, but I don't think that's right. I'm gonna guess it anyway because I have no other guess at the moment. Well, here's my guess. Um. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> Let you down, okay, too bad. In one minute, one gem because of two. In other words, the number of jars doubles by a minute. Straightforward, right? It takes a full hour to fill a jar when you start with one gem, okay. It's really bad. <laughs> this is really bad. <laughs> we start with four then. But then it wouldn't be 15. Oh wait, no, but, oh my god, so then they'd reproduce more, wouldn't they? Okay. Next guess is 12, but I don't think it's 12 either. <laughs> oh no. Let's guess 12. The fun of it. The plot. Well, here's my guess. No. <laughs> God damn it. I was sure I had Just being an idiot now. Okay, right. Let me go back to it. Why am I so dumb? Um. I just read the fucking question. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I was like, how many does it start with? Uh, maybe the sentence that says, how long would it take if it started with two gems? Okay, yeah, no, yeah, fair enough. Maybe it's fair then. <laughs> Might not be, but yeah, um, reading the question helps. No, okay, it's not fair, okay, but, that's fine, um, we at least, <laughs> we know where we're going with this now, <laughs> it's a fucking idiot, I was like, but I don't know how we start with, <laughs> bloody hell, okay, so, if, okay, so it'd be double, so then you'd have four in the first minute, then, it's not 30 minutes though, hmm, okay. At least when I know what we're going for now. It still does not help. 
Okay, so after one minute, it would go from two to four. Two minutes, it'd go four to eight, and then so on. Oh, so it is actually two to the power of 60. This off, this is dead. She's in the hint. This. Yeah, I was gonna say, it was the, I thought it was, I was using powers and I was like, nah, there's no way they would do that because I was, it's the problem is I'm mixing up everything that I'm thinking of. I now know that it's basically, we're starting with a completely different jar with two gems to start with. Uh, but you're right, I think that's got something to do with the powers. I really don't know, you know. For a whole hour. Let's say 45, because... I'm gonna... Yeah, 45. Like, h half of a half. No. <laughs> don't use hints of a crap. <laughs> it's... I was gonna say simple maths. I wouldn't say it's simple maths. But oh wait, the camera is lagging out. No, it's fine, it's back. <laughs> I can't use hints now. I really don't know. How is any kid supposed to know this? It's gonna be something so obvious. Cause it's got it's got definitely nothing with logarithms. It's not fair, you know. There's not a simple divide, it'd be like proportionate. We're guessing all the big numbers. <laughs> It's like ratios and stuff, I feel like. No, it's not. Ignore me. <laughs> Shut up, Chief. I was sure I had it. I was sure I had it. No one, no. Oh my god. I'm not Googling it, by the way. I'm just checking Snapchat. See? Snapchat. Can't see it. There we oh my god, you just see I'm messing my desk as though. That is a bit embarrassing. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Glass jar holds a single. Oh my god, there's no point of reading it again. It's not going in. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Wait. No, 59. Wait. If it's 59, I'm going to be mad, but it makes sense if it's 59. It's, I just, cause, yeah, because all you, okay, the fit, okay, no, that makes sense. I'm just annoyed it took me that long to work out. Because it just takes one minute from one to ten to two, so you just go from this. That's so annoying. I blow. <laughs> oh, now I'm that looks like I cheated because I looked at my phone. I was on Snapchat, okay? <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Okay, whatever. <laughs> You're spot on. Excellent job. This jar's actually kind of neat. Why don't we take it with us? But my boy? It's covered in grime. Hmm, what's this? Something's hidden in the jar. I think you're right. You Creature your hand in and see what it is inside, will you? Oh, another gem. Let's wrap. Okay. Oh, wait. Both your brothers are engineers. That's so cool. Royal Park. Open 10 to 5. No count. Professor, there she is! Quickly then, use the fish bone. Hey Claudia, come here girl. Meow. Meow. We've done it, Professor. Here she comes. Excellent. Now let's head back to Rayhold Manor. Aww. Meow. We did it. It's not missing any puzzle, I'm pretty sure. Having successfully caught Claudia, Professor Layton and Luke decide to head back to Reinhold Manor. 
Are you becoming accustomed to moving around and investigating the same mystery? Here's some advice to keep your investigation running smoothly. Some puzzles will disappear from their location in town as the story progresses. Oh. But there's no need to worry. Most of the unsolved puzzles are sent to Granny Riddleton's shack in the village square. Visit often, um, visit often shut down puzzles you pass and work together completing every puzzle in the game. No worries for her favorite job. I'm probably gonna end, end streaming a bit anyway. Something doesn't seem quite right, Professor. Oh, p p Professor! Oh, it's simply awful. Come quickly, please. Oh, what's the matter, Matthew? If you're worried about the cat, we've brought her back safe and sound. Oh well, Madam will be very happy to hear that. But, but this is no time to worry about a cat. Just hurry up upstairs. Uh, right this way, please. Oh dear, is one dead? Oh. So you're the famous Professor Layton, then. My name is Chalmy, Inspector Chalmy. He's got some high sho His shoulders are, like, up here. <laughs> I'm the expect on this case. Well, I hardly call it a case, but if it's about Claudia, we brought her back safe and sound. <laughs> Obviously, I'm playing on that. Oh, Claudia, my baby. Mama misses you so much. <laughs> That's the third stream this, like, in a row that we made animal noises. Uh... What's this cat doing here? Why on earth are you bring an animal into a crime scene? Have some sense. You were asking this, um, when this crime took place and did not know what's going on. Could you please fill us in? There's been a murder, Professor. My mom was killed at- oh. What? Who was murdered? Victor was a resident- This is Simon, that like, really big nose guy. Big nose guy. <laughs> the victim was a resident um, um, of this address, one Simon Reynold. Simon was- Oh yeah, oh god. We've got two hours. Possibly two hours ago, I received a report that the man had collapsed in Reynold Manor. How do I have seen it? It was apparent to me that Sam was already dead. Okay. Shit. I see. And the cause of the death? I'm currently conducting an investigation to look into it. I'll let you know right away, Mr. Layton. I'm looking at you as a potential suspect as well. We weren't here! I said the details said in the investigation are classified. Speaking of the details, who placed the call to the authorities? Your ears clogged, you deaf. I can't tell you that. Um, I Didn't I just tell you those details are classified? Hm. Right, everyone, I'll be taking statements from each of you um, in the other room, coming one by one. Let's make this clear, under no circumstances is anyone um, to leave until I've talked to everyone. Okay. Interesting. Imagine, a murder in this very house. It brings chills to my spine. You're a detective, are you not? Do hurry and find the monster who did that. My good sir, I am no detective, but I agree with your concern, um, your concerns are certainly warranted. No one is safe until that criminal is behind bars. My sentiment, exactly. I just don't understand it. Simon could be snide, but he wasn't the type to be hated. If the criminal was my brother's fortune, I could very well be this uh, friend's next, fiend's next target. You have a point? If we narrow the motive to stealing the Reynolds fortune, there are a few potential suspects. Good gracious, uh, you don't think I'd do something like this now? Simon and I uh, got along very well, I'll have you know. He wasn't very close to, uh, with August, Augustus though. You know, all this talk of family is making me contemplate a puzzle I heard once. Oh, my relative just died. Anyway, here's a puzzle. Oh, since probably they were gathering around the table to eat dinner, each of the brothers is pr prone to fighting each of the brothers. Oh, oh. Each of the brothers is prone to fighting with the sibling directly above um, and below his age and cannot be seen to eve them. Also, fat three and five got into an argument the other day with you saying to each other. The eldest brother, one, has already sat down at the big table and is waiting for others to start eating. Can you find a seating arrangement for everyone to be happy? So you don't directly want to sit next to someone whose numbers are above or below. So five can't sit next to... F is that not it? Wait. Um... The eldest brother has already sat down at the big tables waiting. Okay, wait, yeah. Each of the brother. Okay, can't sit next to. Th oh, wait, no, we've got five and two. Oh, uh, no, um. Well, oh, that's fine. Focusing on four and three. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, um, shit. Sure. 
Well, that's fine. Three five can't sit next to each other, and then they can't be um can't sit next next to wait. Oh Yeah. So one can't no, two can't sit next to one or three. And three can't sit next to two or four. That makes sense. Makes sense to like put them opposite each other. Uh, three, one, six, now. Now. I think that's right. How does this sound? There we go. Okay, not too bad. <laughs> Legends Apprentice saves the day. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Nice. That wasn't too hard. Ah oh, yes, so that's the answer. Thank you for clearing up that puzzle. Uh, but we are still no close to finding Simon's killer. I assure you I had nothing to do with it, so please go on and find the real murderer. Of course. I understand your position. Um, I, it appears I am a suspect too. I'll find out what I can. Matthew, did you notice any strange characters around the manor at the time of the incident? Not a soul, I'm afraid. Uh, I didn't even know about, uh, about Master Simon until Inspector Chumley showed up. And where is Simon's body now? I didn't see it. But, um, I didn't see this. Um, I was told by the inspector uh, that the inspector carried the body out shortly after arriving. I see. Well, it looks like for the moment we are out, without a lead of this case. Oh, but you know, I, sh um, I found this um, in the room where Sim Master Simon's body was discovered. Oh, with the cog. What is this? I'm sorry to say, but I have no idea. But I thought it might be a clue, so I made sure to hold on to it. Amazing. It's a clock so small like, um, that one could... Wait, it's a clock so small that one could search the room and miss it. Look, it has an engraving. A small cog? Now that you mentioned it, I know a puzzle about an object that almost fits that description. What? Are you joking? A puzzle at this time? Literally. It's fine, we'll do this puzzle and then we'll wolf the head off. I will end stream though. The only an eight point shape with a red dot is you point the shape, um, so the red dot is pretty shown in a diagram. The flip it, you'll see a black dot. The, wait, where? Get to blow. Now, I'm assuming you're on the. Um, How are we flipping it? You're like an eight-point shape with a red dot. Uh, and then flip it over, see a black shape depicted. So red dot would be here. So. Be here. Black dot's there. The black dot should be here. That's very hasty. Now, ah, uh, I suppose I thought wrong. Okay. It was like we're flipping it this way, right? Uh, Would be that. Oh, you idiot, it'd be this side. Thing? Let's go with that one. I didn't flip it properly. There we go. I don't think. No, never mind, I still got it wrong. <laughs> okay, no worries. Well, we've lost all the points for this one. Oh god, I need to be in bed. Okay, there we go. Because if we're filling it that way, it's a different story. Uh, well, the black dot be when you flip the shape over. I'm assuming we have to put. Yeah, I was gonna say. Um. Yeah, so over here. 
It's over here. We just flipped it wrong again. There we go. There we go. Another just me not being able to flip a bloody image. <laughs> My apologies, but I'm afraid I don't uh, know anything that would aid you in your investigation. Not at all. This small, this small gear um, is more than enough to go on. But I do wonder why you're giving this to us. I believe you're a good man, Professor. I'm confident you will put the whole puzzle together. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Matthew. Sorry, bear with. If we get a new chapter page, that would be nice, because I don't want to end this and then like come back tomorrow and then we have that, but we'll see. Is that everyone who is present at the site of the crime? I believe we are missing Raymond, sir. Raymond? Where is he and what on earth is he doing? Have you fetch Raymond at once? To be honest, madam, thinking of it, I have not seen Raymond in a few hours. What? Don't tell me he was taken as well. No, hold on a moment. He's a suspect too. How does he fund the scene of the crime? How could he be at a town like this? What if the middle got Raymond too? Hey, where did the Lady Gnarly go? I believe Madame has retired to the drawing room um, to relax on her own. She's a strong woman, but uh, only natural that she need rest after a terrible event like this. But well then, would you please let her know that um, that I have something I'd like to talk to her about? Of course, Professor. Please wait here. I need to tell you, my aunt, like, um, the ice cream, but I guess even she was shaking by today's events. Look, if you wish to ever become a true gentleman, you need to start showing a little more sensitivity. Roasted. Oh, of course, Professor. I apologize. That was wrong of me. Madam, we'll see you now. Just head through the back door, um, through the doorway on the left. I don't know where I got the back door from. Okay, poor oh, Simon, murdered right here. I'm absolutely terrified. Uh, bring this criminal to justice, I beg you. What a lovely vase. <laughs> Lady Dahlia, I have a deep suspicion this murder is connected to the mystery of the Golden Apple. What? It's too early to say for sure, but I think it's highly probable that the two matters are linked. Ow. And you think Raymond is somehow involved in all of this? Essentially, yes. However, as of yet, we don't have enough information to draw any solid conclusions. I see. If that is the case, I have a request for you, Professor. Find Raymond and bring him back here to me. It sickens me that I am being considered a suspect in this brutal crime. I must prove my innocence at once. As you wish, Lady Dahlia, we will ask around town to see what we can find. I appreciate your help, Professor. Well then, I'll be waiting for good news in the parlour. Here we go. Let's see the missing servant. Go and see Mr. for clues about Raymond's disappearance. Okay. Perfect time to end. There we go. Two hours. Okay. We are going to leave it there, because obviously we've, we've done a lot today, uh, and I need to go to bed. It's 2 hours 23. Uh, I have to be up at 6.45 tomorrow, so we'll see. I get 6 hours of sleep if I go to bed now. But yeah, uh, we got a lot done, actually. 2 hours worth of content. Um, what, we've got a puzzle to do? Well, we've got a few puzzles to do, which I think is quite nice. Um, honestly, I'm enjoying it. It's been a... Um, I remember playing it as a child. I do not remember it being this complicated. <laughs> Um, so it's kind of glad, like, I'm not gonna lie, I do not remember any of these characters except, like, Professor Lane and Luke. That's fun. Um, but yeah, we will see where it goes. Um, I'm not actually too sure where we're going. Yeah, I mean, I enjoy the game, so I'm hoping you all enjoyed it too. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the layout as well. It is a bit of a weird layout on stream. I just whacked something together, so yeah. Oh, and the music's great. All the games we play on stream have really great music for the most part. Yeah, I am going to leave it there just because, you know, um, it's late. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully we'll play again tomorrow. We will see. I uh, should be able to. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying it, Um And I like the puzzle part of it. Obviously, your boy's an idiot. We could have been doing sooner, but, you know, couldn't work it out. But, I mean, Chapter 3 is a good place to end it, so I'm going to leave it there. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. 
Uh, if you're new here, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications on YouTube, all that sort of stuff. You know, it just helps out with the channel, all that sort of stuff. Make sure you follow me at JVK on Twitter and Instagram as well. I just post all the of short, no, and TikTok. I forgot TikTok as a logo. There we go, I'll add that next time. But yeah, um, it just helps out with the channel, all that sort of stuff. So make sure you go check them out. Oh, I'm glad you like the layout. <laughs> no, that's really good. Uh, but yeah, if you've done all of that, uh, make sure you're in the Discord that's pinned in the chat. Uh, you get to vote on what games to play next, and you get notified when I'm live and when I upload, so you never miss out on anything. So, Professor Layton did win this one. Um, it seems to be going alright, and because we're using the an emulator to do DS stuff, it means we can play all DS games as like a throwback thing. So we can do that, like, you know, uh, moving forward. Um, Professor Layton will take a while. I think now that we've done um, Ace Attorney, I know they do have a crossover game. So what we'll do is we'll play... We'll finish off Professor Layton, and then maybe we can go to um, Apollo Justice, I think, is the next one. We can do that later on, like, after we finish this. I do think this will be our big game. We can play mini ones in the middle. We'll see. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I'll hopefully see you all tomorrow. Good night. Buenas noches, for